Oh, going against the 10 minute ex view. exhibition match. Holy shit. Travis View, a UFC Bellator Pride alumni. Mm -hmm. We have literally royalty walking in front of us right now. Both of these boys starting off. Travis coming off aggressive. I'm ready to be touched by this cage if they slam against it. I'm so excited. We got 10 minutes to work. Let's see what they use. Two big boys, two very strong men going to ham right now. Thomas Ferrer in the Army PT shorts. Good move here. How can he not like that? Hand fighting here, grabbing for neck control. Currently in the U.S. Army, they're struggling to sign people, but MCFC? No, sir. Lot, just a lot of hand fighting right now, showing a lot of strength for both of them. Both of them trying to get those hands around the other one back of the head. So a lot of even positioning here from both gentlemen. This looks like every big wrestling match you've ever seen. Absolutely, Absolutely. it does. Oh, Travis trying a couple there. more. You can imagine if it was anything like the first fight we saw or any grappling event, uh, event that we that we saw. You definitely don't want to see big men flat on their face when guy on top. It's it's just too much weight. It does. It ends up being it's just aggressive. That's why they talk about flyweights and MMA and stuff like that, throwing them around other guys around because they're just so strong for how small they are. They can easily lift the guy's weight. With this, I mean, it's not easy to lift up a dude that's 200 and something pounds. I mean, just even these grappling exchanges, this clinch work, unreal exhausting. Oh. I know it's really t almost eye poked there. Mm. Hands locked around Travis's head. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Pereira doing great for a short notice bout here against yeah. Travis. Against a, like I said, a UFC alum here. Not a single shot from any boys. I, I see a potential arm drag here. Seems to be what Travis has been going for. Center balance. Two minutes is down. Not two there minutes for down. I sure was a quick two minutes. It really was. I'm sure they don't feel like that. Rochester's own Dennis Lawrence single getting leg, back in the crowd. Going for the single leg. Going for the single leg. Going to be tough against oh, such a veteran. Mm -hmm. Beautiful defense from Travis there, getting the arm under the neck. Still not under. Fighting Typical court. wrestling move. One under hook. Pushing against right, uh, right against us here. Here we are. Okay. Right here, front and center, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Travis pushing Thomas against the cage here. Travis not Arm letting go of that underhook. Great job flattening him out. And this is exactly what you got to want to worry. This is the, yeah, this is not what you want here. UFC vet, pride vet on top of you. Not good. Inches from our face, ladies and gentlemen. Both of these boys showing a lot of respect here for the other. Neither one of them seems out of breath or tired at all. A lot of patience, though, especially in this top position here from Travis. Cross legs of Herrera on the back. Would like you see to get the feet in the hips here to try to separate if possible. Apologies about our uh, quiet commentating as well there, ladies and gentlemen. We are very close and scared. Yeah, a little scared. And fighting here, controlled wrist. Got two in one here. Squeezing on the wrist. Very, very intense here. Hope Continuing Travis to looking to the ref for stalling. Yep, still looking to him now. I wonder what. Uh, I wonder the hips, trying to post up. Yep, just trying to, just trying to get some action going here. No more lull. There you go. Passes a half guard. Nice. Travis needs this. Four minutes down, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you guys heard that straight from Travis's corner. Herrera viciously trying to get that leg in between Travis's on the outside, trying to pull him back around out of this. Travis working with side control here. Travis showing a lot of strength, a lot of dominance here throughout this exchange. Mm -hmm. Amazing defense here for Herrera. Later in the round, keeping him away, keeping him away. And if this was MMA at all, guys, um, back up. Back 
to their feet. Great defense there from Herrera, avoiding a submission. Probably about five minutes down right now. About I'd halfway say so. through. I'd say so. Getting back here after after getting grappled on the ground is majorly tiring. Mm-hmm. Let's see how these boys go. I mean, and we're talking about a hometown legend right now, so these folks are, are just studying this, seeing everything that's going on. A lot of them probably not knowing what's going on entirely, and, and it's tough for us to even tell from this end really how intense this is and how tiring it can be up there. Oh, my goodness, great slam from Travis. What a noise. Going for the back. Turns over like you're supposed to do. This is not a wrestling match, ladies and gentlemen. Going to your back makes sense. But to tell you the truth, Travis doesn't seem like the type of guy to get your back and hold it. He seems like a top-heavy guy. Very much so. I mean, if if you said, you know, Pride vet, Bellator vet, UFC vet, and he hasn't done it for a while, jiu-jitsu and grappling was different back then, there's not a lot of guys that are going to be this big playing off their back. Absolutely agree with you. Travis's record in MMA speaks for itself to the ground and pound and knockouts, all mm -hmm. those things. I mean, this stuff that, I mean, of course, he's utilized his grappling and his wrestling to mm -hmm. get to those positions in time. But seeing him in a straight jiu-jitsu match is something that is really, it's a treat. It really is a treat. And right for us here in the small town of Rochester, Minnesota. Definitely a treat seeing a legend like this actually grapple and work with just the one skill set. You are seeing... Um, when when Herrera gets put up against the the cage, Travis's main objective is to offset that balance, arm drag, making sure he's on one leg before going for a takedown. That's why you have seen Travis in the top position more, because he is trying to be the aggressor and get into that position tonight. Might be an opportunity for a north south here. Oh, he he is going for it. You can tell he's flattening his weight now. Yeah, absolutely. All he can do really do on the bottom now, you see how his feet is against the cage. He could push off. You could get tight. Yeah, he just went for it. He is. And we're probably looking at about, what, two, three minutes left here, Something folks. like that. I would like to see what's going on. You know, it's tough to see with his hands. If we were going to get a tap, we might get a verbal one. Looks like it's close. It does look like it's close. Three minutes left here, everybody. Three minutes here left. We're going inside the arm. That left arm yeah, of Herrera, out. yeah. That left arm of Herrera was doing massive work for his defense. He he may look like Alexi Olenek, guys, but he's not going off the back. No, he's a top guy. Possible arm triangle here if Travis gets to the other side. Has the arm and the head isolated, but it is hard to get to the other side with that with that uh, with that side being on the cage. And with decisions going to the draw here in MCFC here. There tonight, it is. So that this is what I'm talking about. There yep. you go. There you go. Yep. Trying he, to work his way to the other side. Trying to push away. Yeah, he's posturing up. Keep in space. We might have one here, folks. We might have it here. If he gets to the far side, this might be the end, ladies he and gentlemen. Needs to turn all the way over. He needs to turn all the way Ooh. over. Oh, oh, gave up. Wow. Gave up the attempt. Wow. Again, the, the exhaustion. Cage, yeah, the cage on that side prevents you much less mobility to actually get there and finish that submission. And sitting here, it is really tough to understand how much energy goes into squeezing on a choke like that. It's unreal. And for it to not work when you think you're going to have it, gosh, just got to be, it's got to be a morale breaker for a tad bit. But I got it. But I got to think a pride vet, it's not going to affect him very much. Not at all. Pr I mean, pr we're, we're talking about pride. It's one thing to be UFC. Um, but solid slam. What a throw. Him. He points at his corner straight out the gate. There we go, and we're back. No more touching. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Went out again. One side. Okay. Having a little bit of some audio issues, folks. Probably not with you hearing us, but with us hearing each again, other. In a, in a good position for North South, or if he can if he can lower himself, possibly that same arm triangle, but if the arm positioning is not showing like that could happen. Inside control now for Travis. Looks like he's going for that Kamora on the far side. Gave up on it. Travis V really showing his uh, final minute, his experience. He's showing his dominance here today. Even if, even without getting necessarily, you know, too many submission attempts, just showing the overall awesome. grappling, dom the grappling dominance here. But you know, we're, we're talking about Travis a lot, and his opponent is doing good. He's doing what it needs to be done. He's gotten out of multiple uh, submission attempts from a big guy. That's very hard. Thomas Araya really showing his heart here. Absolutely. Possible armbar. Kamara 
attempt here, working on that right arm of Herrera. Pressing on the face of Herrera. Big dog in him. Yes, absolutely. Hopefully going for He wants this submission. He really doesn't want this to go to a draw there, ladies and gentlemen. Going south again. We are getting a show here, and that might be in, folks. That really might be in, folks. I don't know. It is really tough Looking to tell from this the angle. thumbs up. Thumbs up from Herrera, identifying he is okay currently. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Can he survive? Oh, it is tight. Oh, that is tight, ladies and gentlemen. That is tight. And go. Herrera survives. Wow. Sad what, right a what, a what a match from What a match. What a match. You are match. right. Beautifully done. Absolute studs. Let's hear it for these two fighters. This one is considered a draw. I'm here with Travis. How are you feeling after that? I mean, showing the dominance there. Uh, I know it didn't uh, end in a submission, but at the end of the day, showing, showing your experience there, how do you feel? I feel okay. I probably should have worked a little bit harder, but not bad for an old man. <laughs> Without a doubt. Especially getting into uh, a, a lot of those north-south positions. It just seemed like he was close in some of those. Maybe the last one. He's a strong kid, man. I want to thank Thomas for taking the match. He took it on Monday. Wow. Uh, without him, I wouldn't have been able to compete. So I want to thank him for, wow. for stepping up and taking the fight. <laughs> Less than Absolutely. A Big hand for Thomas Herrera Six there. Keeping notice. us entertained here, letting us see a hometown a legend here. UFC uh, anything you want to say to the fans legend. here? Hey, so in April, they're doing a pro show back here. I want to thank these guys for doing this. Um, they're trying to build something big here in Rochester. It's been a long time. And I plan to main event that April show. So. And it's not going to be any of this jujitsu crap. I don't like laying, around, laying on the ground with like another guy. So it's going to be a fight. And I'm excited. Just everything is working itself Let's out. Let's go. Minnesota Travis boys view, everybody. what Minnesota wants. It's unbelievable here. It's a big deal to have this here. I mean, wow. we've, we've only had a few guys fight in the UFC and major organizations from Minnesota. I mean, 